Hi, I'm Anne Marie. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Soap Queen TV. Today, I'm going to show you how to make massage candles. With Valentine's Day just around the corner, this is a great project. A massage candle is a blend of skin safe oils and waxes that can be heated up so when you're giving a massage, the oil is warm. It doesn't start your massage out on a chilly note. First, let's talk about some important safety tips. Since this is a skin safe candle, it's important that all the ingredients you use are safe to put on the skin. This means that the soy wax you buy needs to be safe for putting on skin. This also means that the fragrance you use has to be skin safe. That means no candle fragrances and no potpourri fragrances. It also means that any sort of colorant you put in needs to be skin safe and not a lot of colorants that you can put into candles or skin safe. That doesn't matter though. Who wants a colored massage oil anyways? For this recipe, I'm going to be using high quality, luxurious oils like shea butter, avocado oil, and deodorized cocoa butter. Shea butter is a creamy white butter that is solid at room temperature. It has excellent moisturizing and nourishing skin properties. Avocado oil is wonderful on this because it has spreadability and skin penetrating qualities. I'm using deodorized cocoa butter because normal cocoa butter smells like chocolate. And while that smells delicious, I don't want this to smell like chocolate. So I'm using deodorized cocoa butter, which is high in antioxidants and great for dry chapped skin. Finally, I'm using an all natural skin safe soy wax called Nature Wax. It holds fragrance great and has a low melting point, making it the perfect addition for our massage candle. To make this an excellent calming massage candle, I'm going to be using an essential oil blend of patchouli essential oil and Lay Lang essential oil, both which are reputed to have calming, relaxing effects. I've chosen WU250 wicks from Brambleberry.com. They're the most versatile wicks that Brambleberry carries, making them an excellent choice for these six ounce candle tins. The first step is to combine all of your ingredients except for the shea butter in a heat safe container. So four ounces of nature wax, four ounces of avocado oil, and one ounce of deodorized cocoa butter. Melt this in the microwave on 45 second bursts. This has only been melting for 45 seconds. You can see it needs a couple more rounds in the microwave. This is after three rounds in the microwave. You can see there's just a little bit left of the cocoa butter. I'm going to put this in for another 45 seconds. Have a hot pad handy. You don't know how warm this is going to be. This feels a little warm. I have my hot pad ready. We're adding in five ounces of shea butter. The reason we're adding in the five ounces of shea butter at the end is because shea butter is persnickety. It doesn't like to get too hot. It gets grainy then sometimes. So I like to add it into my hot oils and waxes and stir gently and slowly until it's fully incorporated in. Now that the shea butter is incorporated in, it's time to take the temperature. Looks pretty good. We want this to be about 99 degrees when we pour. So we have just enough time to add our essential oil blend. You can use half an ounce to one ounce of essential oil in this. Wow, look how amber colored this is looking with that patchouli essential oil. It smells so good. Checking the temperature again, we're right around 99 degrees. This is ideal. You want it to be cool, but not so cool that it's ready to set up, which is around 90 degrees. You ready? Do you have your tins ready? Your candle wicks ready? All right, let's pour. This is exactly what we want it to look like when it pours. Can you see this? It's pouring nice and viscous, pouring evenly, kind of like maple syrup. Now that all four of my tins are filled, I'm going to put the wicks in. Oop, this one's tipping over. So if that happens, keep some pencils handy. You can just use those to prop up your wicks. Look at that, easy. Now do you wonder what happens if we pour these too warm? It's not horrible. The candle's still usable, but do you see how mottled and kind of cratered this looks? It doesn't look great. That's why I like to pour at a lower temperature for this project. Now you just have to let these cool a few hours and then they're ready to use. Trim the wick to a quarter inch. 
Let's light it and see how it burns. Once it looks like you have enough of a melted wax pool, it's time to use your massage candle. Now, of course, you want to make sure that you blow it out. Safety first. Pour some of that onto your skin. It feels so warm and it smells so good. It's soft and sensual and just what you think a massage candle should act like. That's all the time I have today on Soap Queen TV. Thanks so much for joining me on this episode where we made massage candles. Until next time, happy soaping. So stir this in calmly and gently until it's fully incorporated. Why, why, why is calmly and gently funny? That was perfect!